all right a uh, very good evening to all of you this is your educator srishti and i welcome you all on youtube channel of an academy iit jam live okay so we have started with the series of iit jam chemistry pyq and we'll be taking this that series forward and we'll be taking some more questions in today's session and we are going to discuss those all questions in today's session okay this is going to be your part 3 of your uh, right this iit jam chemistry series PY pyq uh series okay and we started off with your general organic chemistry okay so we discussed a couple of questions in the previous sessions too you can watch those sessions also in case you have missed and let's continue with today's question today i am going to take a uh, right, uh, questions on the very important topic from general organic chemistry that is your solvolysis okay so i'll be taking topic from solvolysis and questions related on solvolysis okay so let's take very first question right there in front of your screen right this is your first question so very good evening to all of you those who are live in this particular session uh, good evening himanshu good evening uh, prem prane very good evening to all of you uh, this is the first question in front of your screen and let's see okay if if you know the concept or not what you have to tell the correct order of rate of solvolysis for the following compound okay this is the first question and what do you think is going to be the correct answer hello to all of you very good evening everyone okay so uh, everyone what do you think is uh, going to be the correct answer the correct order of rate of solvolysis for the following compound let's discuss this the concept okay let's discuss the concept pay attention everyone okay thank you so much shiva for your kind words okay uh, let's let's take okay himanshu is going with b all right what about others all right let's let's solve this question before that we should know the concepts okay what is solvolysis first uh, let's let's see that what is this term that is solvolysis okay solvolysis is nothing but the reaction mechanism for solvolysis is sn1 okay so what we have to see in sn1 we know that there is a formation of carbocation in sn1 we know there is a formation of carbocation so ultimately what we have to see we have to see the stability of carbocation okay we have to see the stability of carbocation so this is going to be our concept in solvolysis okay we have to see the stability of uh, right carbocation uh, okay if you have any genuine doubt uh, shiva related to your preparation so you can ask me in the comment section okay for sure i i'm going to address your doubts okay so this is the first thing uh, that solvolysis is uh, the mechanism involved in solvolysis is sn1 and in sn1 we know generally there is a formation of carbocation and we have to check the stability of carbocation okay this this thing is perfect so we have to find out the correct rate of solvolysis for the following compound so basically we have to write down the correct rate of stability of carbocation okay we have to see the correct stability of carbocation okay i hope this point is clear to all of you okay great uh, all right okay let's let's discuss this question now okay so now if i if i have br over here if i have br over here if i have br over here okay so what i'm going to do now right definitely br if I, if i see this particular charge orientation so br is more electronegative than this carbon so there is going to be del negative charge and del positive charge there is going to be del negative charge and del positive charge there is going to be del negative charge and del positive charge so finally what is going to happen this this is going to be formation of a carbocation over here carbocation over here and carbocation over here okay i hope it's clear to all of you there is going to be formation of carbocation over here okay now we have to check the stability of these carbocations okay so first compound is it anti aromatic aromatic or non aromatic anyone is it anti aromatic aromatic or non aromatic yes 
yes everyone right okay the first compound is going to be the first compound is going to be anti aromatic okay the first compound is going to be anti aromatic how first compound is going to be anti aromatic first of all it's a cyclic compound right yes it's a cyclic compound second compound you have alternative conjugation or we have p orbitals in all right in all atoms we have p orbital p orbital p orbital p orbital p orbital so there is a cyclic conjugation of p orbital that is present okay this is a cyclic conjugation of p orbital that is present over here so we can say that yes definitely it is cyclic it is alternative p orbital and all atoms are sp2 hybridized also so it is following your huckel's rule okay it is basically following your huckel's rule okay now we have to check that if it's following 4n plus 2 rule or 4n plus rule okay if it is going with 4n plus 2 rule then the compound would be aromatic if it's going with 4n rule then the compound would be anti aromatic right okay the compound would be anti aromatic great so this is how we can explain this concept so now let's count total number of pi electrons so 2 pi electrons 2 pi electrons we have 4 pi electrons so 4n is equals to 4 n is equals to 1 this means this compound is anti aromatic okay this compound is anti aromatic okay so we have solved that the first compound is going to be anti aromatic anti aromatic okay let's take second compound now here it is positive again it is sp2 hybridized a complete cyclic conjugation is present in this particular compound so we can say that 4n plus 2 is equals to 1 2 Three, four, five, six. Okay, this is equals to six. So we can say that n is equals to one. So this compound is aromatic. Okay, this compound is aromatic. Okay. So basically, uh, in this session, we are discussing previous year questions. Okay, and if you are interested in uh, right watching uh, classes of twenty twenty, right? So today only I have one class on uh, an academy special platform at ten pm. and that class is for 2022 students okay that class is free of cost you don't have to pay anything for that class you just have to go to my profile for that link is given in the description box go to my profile just uh, enroll in that particular class okay go to special classes you will see a class right titled as your uh, right it's it's titled as your a uh, goal of jam 2022 Okay, the title of the uh, that particular cl class is Mission Jam 2022. Okay, you can just enroll in that particular class, all right, and you can attend that class. The class will be live at 10 p.m. today. Okay, the, the class is going to be live at uh, 10 p.m. today. Okay, you can just watch that particular class definitely. Okay, let's continue with this topic. Okay, so definitely this is going to be anti-aromatic. First one is going to be aromatic, right? What about second one? Which electronic effect is involved over here? Which electronic effect is involved over here in the third one? Can I say over here its resonance effect? Can I say resonance effect is involved over here? So yes, resonance effect is involved over here. Definitely, resonance effect is involved over here. So this is aromatic, this is anti-aromatic, and this is resonance effect. So definitely, this carbocation is going to be more stable. okay this carbocation is going to be more stable so let's see third second third and second i can directly cancel out option c and option a right in hfe i can cancel out option a and option c now i am left with option b and d let's see now what is going to be your correct answer over here it's resonance which is stabilizing the positive charge over here the compound is now anti aromatic which is very destabilizing factor okay so the correct answer for this particular question would be second is going to be uh, right uh, in second case the rate of solvolysis would be maximum then third then first okay so correct answer would be d correct answer would be d so this is how we'll be solving this particular question on solvolysis okay any doubts to anyone i hope it's clear to all of you very good kishore yes d is going to be your uh, correct answer okay let's take next question on solvolysis 
right this is also one question on solvolysis let's see how many of you can get this question correct i'm giving you 30 seconds for this question and after 30 seconds i'll be solving this question okay with help of concepts Again, you have to tell the rate of solvolysis of 1 to 4 follows, okay? What is going to be the correct order? Okay, uh, let's solve this question. So again, the positive charge is going to be on this carbon. The positive charge is going to be on this carbon. The positive charge is going to be on this carbon. And the positive charge is going to come on this carbon. Okay. So over here you can see it's positive, 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 positive. Okay. Great. So when we have a positive charge which is, which is attached with a double bond. So there's a possibility of resonance for sure. There's a possibility of resonance. But according to Brett's rule right according to brett's rule we cannot form a double bond and a positive charge on bridgehead position and you can see there's a positive charge on bridgehead bridgehead position which is quite an unstable property okay let's go to the next option there is resonance present there is no unstability factor over here so definitely second is going to be more stable than first or what we can say that rate of solvolysis of second is going to be more than first. So in this particular question, you can see just by looking to one particular thing, we can cancel out options. And this is the art of canceling out option, right? And this is uh, this is very uh, handy for your examination. Okay. So second is going to be uh, the rate of solvolysis of second is going to be more than first. Okay. The rate of sol uh, second is going to be more than first. No, A, A is definitely correct. Second is going to be more than first. Okay, C could be your answer. Second is going to be more than first. No, B option is definitely correct. Second is going to be more than first. C. With this one thing, we have cancelled out three options. Okay, with this one thing, we have cancelled out three options. So, this is how you have to cancel out the options. Okay, the correct answer is going to be option C. Let's see how this is your correct answer. Okay, what are the factors which is responsible for stability of this particular uh, positive charges okay over here there is no resonance because according to Brett's rule what we can say that there is uh, we should not form positive charge or we should not have double bond on bridgehead position okay so we don't have any resonance factor we don't have any hyper conjugation effect okay let's go to second now now what what we are going to observe over here there is resonance okay great over here you can see this compound is now aromatic in nature so definitely it's going to be you know most stable or it will be having maximum rate of solvolysis so you can see three is present over here okay then we have second then we have first at last we have fourth why because this is anti-aromatic okay just like aromaticity is a stabilizing factor so anti-aromaticity is a destabilizing factor okay so correct answer is going to be three second one and four okay this is going to be your correct answer that is option c okay i hope it's clear to all of you there is no doubt in this particular question okay so this is all about this class we'll be taking more questions in the upcoming session i hope you found this session useful if you want to uh, study from my courses you can join unacademy platform uh, you can take unacademy plus subscription by using my referral code that is sbatra these all chapters i have already completed on plus so they will be present in uh, you know uh, the uh, the recorded form you can cover these chapters in recorded form and along with this recorded classes right now we have one session right right now this is this is the live code that is GOC okay we are learning general organic chemistry live which is very important for uh, right any ex entrance examination okay so there's going to be this much uh, material available on my profile 
and on others educator profile there's going to be uh, right much more uh, material available so just by using this one referral code you can access uh, classes of each and every educator okay if you have any doubts regarding the plus subscription you can definitely message me on our academy uh, platform i'll definitely clear your doubt okay and these are your upcoming uh, test series okay these are going to be your upcoming test series that is going to be live in, in the coming week okay this is for bsc students so this is uh, going to be highly beneficial for bsc students okay this test series is for tifr students so there's a mini mock test and there's a full length mock test okay so if you guys are preparing for tifr examination so i should recommend you that uh, i would recommend you that you guys should uh, give this test series just to strengthen your concepts and to just uh, see your mistakes and work upon it okay next is this test series it's going to be a short test series unit based test series you can also uh, right attend this particular uh, test series okay uh, yes kishore what is your doubt one bridge carbon unstable one and four please compare okay definitely right let's compare one and four let's compare one and four okay let's compare one and four okay let's compare one and four okay see over here this this one is anti-aromatic double bond double bond anti-aromatic okay bridgehead compound is not anti-aromatic okay it's not a destabilizing factor it's just the thing that we cannot have this positive charge uh, right on bridgehead position according to brett's rule we cannot have this positive charge on bridgehead position due to angle strain of positive charge because carbocation right uh, basically it need 120 degree angle that is not available over here so there is angle strain present over here okay so due to this angle strain this positive charge is not stable but over here after elimination of this br negative we are getting a positive positive charge okay so we are getting a positive charge so this is going to be a uh, least stable compound okay the rate of solubilis would be very less okay because this is your least stable compound so this is how we are going to compare first and fourth okay i hope i i could answer your doubt and your doubt is now clear so right if you have any doubts related to a preparation or anything in general you can always message me on an academy uh, platform right i'll be happy to take your doubts okay i'll see you in the next class that is tomorrow again at 9 pm with more questions on goc all right thank you so much everyone have a all right i wish you all a good night take care and i have one more class at 9 pm okay I'll be having one more class at 10 p.m. today for JAM 2022 aspirants. Okay, if if you are JAM 2022 aspirants, so you can attend that classes for more questions on GOC. Okay, I'll see you in the next class.